Welcome to this introduction to modules. This tutorial introduces an essential feature in PACT known as modules. We'll discuss what modules are, why they're important, and how to build a module for yourself. The key takeaway is that modules contain the logic used to create your application. They can be permissioned to ensure the security of running your code on a decentralized network and allow for row-level permissions when needed. First, what is a PACT module? A PACT module is where all the logic is written for a smart contract. All API and data definitions exist within the module. They include things like schema definitions, table definitions, function definitions, PACT special functions, and constant values. While a lot is included in modules, it's important that some code be written outside of the module. For example, key sets, table creation, and function calls are done outside of modules. You'll see more examples of this throughout this and other tutorials. When starting with PACT, you'll often create single modules that contain the full functionality of your smart contract. So that raises an important question. Why aren't modules called smart contracts? The reason for this becomes clear once you begin creating more complicated smart contracts. These will often contain many modules that work together to create your application. The goal of each module should be to create a focused set of functionality and clear organization within your files. While one module can make one smart contract, many modules can also make one smart contract. For that reason, we use the term module. To create a module, you'll write the module keyword, followed by the name and the key set that has access to call this module. Here's a module named example that gives access to an admin key set. The entire module is written within these parentheses. Notice that the key set is both defined and read outside of the module. The basic idea of modules is simple, but the structure of the code and the actual logic within the module can get pretty complicated. To get started, you can find examples using the module explorer in the PACT online editor. From the module explorer, open the Hello World smart contract. Notice that the pattern of this smart contract is similar to what you saw before. The key set and function calls are done outside of the module, but the module contains the actual functionality of the code. Next, take some time to look through the simple payment module. This time, the smart contract includes a few other features. The simple payment smart contract includes schema definitions, table definitions, table creation, functions, and function calls. Take some time to navigate the contract to get a sense for the layout. There's a few important things to note here. First, schemas and tables are defined inside the modules, but the tables are created outside of the modules. Table and schema definitions include built-in functions including def schema, def table, and create table. Next, there are some new packed built-in functions that you may not have seen before. These include enforce, insert, and with read. You'll learn more about each of these functions in later tutorials. You can explore the packed language reference built-in functions to learn more about each of them now if you'd like. Other modules include the same basic framework as those included in these simple smart contracts. Take a minute to look through each of the other smart contract examples to get more familiar with how they work. As you'll see, each example contains some interesting new approaches to building an application. The international payment is an example where there is more than one module used to create the smart contract. There's a payments USD module, a payments JPY module, and a cross-border module. Each of these modules helps organize some of the core functionality of the code and they work together to create the smart contract. Focus on understanding the structure of each module to get used to the different techniques used to create them. That wraps up this tutorial on PACT modules. In this tutorial, you were introduced to modules, one of the core features of the PACT programming language. You learned what modules are, why they're important, and we went over a few examples. The goal of this tutorial wasn't for you to learn all of the code that can possibly go into creating a module. That's what most of this entire PACT programming language is built to accomplish. You'll learn all about this soon. For now, the important takeaway is to understand a purpose of a module and to recognize the key elements that belong inside and outside of PACT modules. Before moving on, continue exploring the examples provided in the PACT online editor. When you're ready, you can learn more about the PACT programming language in our next tutorial.